normally like a high of day break like this, it's normally not this explosive, right? It's like just huge rip up um, and then followed by another one, sorry, like, like that. Now in the COVID market, this was every single day, right? This was every single day in the COVID market. Like the 2020 market, this was like, literally there was, a, there was like something like this every single fucking day. Uh, but normally like it's, it's normally just like a pop back up and like a pop to four and it doesn't halt. Like, you know, maybe it halts, but like it pops up here, then pushes. And like this, this extreme range, like it's going to go to 15 or something like that. It's just kind of like a, a break and then maybe a pullback and then like, a you know, and it breaks out. Right. This is so drastic because um, it was like everybody you know, they decided, oh, longs are going to win this one. And everybody bailed at once. And it hasn't happened in a long time. So there's a buildup as to why this was that strong. Um, newbie shorts on their platform was, was, was uh, glitching. Um, but yeah, that's, um, but yeah, so that was a long tangent from the fact that AREB tried to do it today. Um, and even AREB's attempt um, showed, you know, I thought, I thought that was bullish, right? Uh, and the other uh, bearish, and, and, and the only really bearish thing I, I, I felt in this market was that uh, ASTR 10. Now, I didn't even know, I didn't even know it was in play until I got back and saw that something, something open, you know, opened $2 lower. This is kind of bearish. Whenever this happens, it's kind of bearish. It kind of puts a little bit of fear uh, in the long side. Yeah, I didn't even see this until after either. Yeah, I didn't see this uh, at all in, until I got back. Yeah. Um, this was, I, I mean, I, I don't even know what they do. Um, I think it had something to do with, um, oh, did they lose a contract? It's aerospace, did they lose a contract? Um, falls after commercial rocket launch aborted. Okay. Okay, failed launch. Rocket goes up stock, rocket goes up stock. Goes up. To the moon. Yeah, so that's, I didn't even see AFRM. I heard people talking about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's why. Okay, uh, Echo, turn on my AC. Oh, I have it muted. I have it muted. Yeah, literally rocket crashing. Okay. All right, where were we here? Okay, yeah, so the ASTR tank today. Um, other than that, we move on. As far as the overall market is concerned, right? Last week I was talking about how this, you know, this bounce kind of felt like uh, that this bounce was kind of an auto bounce. This bounce, um, uh, you know, there, there wasn't a whole lot of meaning behind this just because we like did this strong push. You know, that's just, that's just because like we held a bid and you know, like it, it could have went up, it could have went down. I don't think there was any merit to this where I thought the merit was going to be was in the week following, because this bounce was going to fail eventually somewhere, whether it was 450, 460, 460 wherever the fuck this was going to fail, the bounce was going to fail. It was going to pull back. And that's, and you know, this week is, is what I thought would be the critical week this week on whether or not, you know, bidders step up. And that's what, that's what I was talking about somewhere here. Right. This next week will be telling because bidders will have to prove that they're willing to buy to, to make this a, whatever this is, whatever, you know, whatever the wherever the higher low is going to be, they're going to have to prove that they're willing to make a higher low because, you know, I felt that if we saw 430 again, uh, people, you know, that people, you know, the chart would look so ugly, people would be more interested in selling than buying with it. So I thought that, you know, this week would be a telling week and, you know, it started to, you know, it, bidders were stepping up one, two, three, four days we were holding, but um, almost luckily, uh, we got this bad CPI news today, right? Of, you know, increased, um, more than the expectation, increased inflation over the expectation that kind of, you know, set the market, you know, kind of in a, you know, in, in a sell mode. And, you know, you guys all saw that spy chart today towards the middle of the day really took a shit. This actually, in my opinion, is a very good thing, uh, because it's got, it's kind of going to speed up the process on, on us finding out if the bidders are for real or not, right? Because this looks really ugly and, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a gap down. In fact, I hope we see a gap down and not because I'm bearish or anything on the market. I mean, I am, but 
uh, I want to see the cards revealed, right? Like I want to know if the bidders are there or not, right? Or if, you know, if, if the market sees under 440, like I want to know what the market's going to do in an emotional state, right? Whenever we're here, this is not emotional at all, right? This, this isn't really that emotional. It, it's showing that there, there are bidders here, but it can also just mean that sellers aren't ready to sell yet either, right? And that's what, that's what Joe Kelly thinks. Right, Joe. Uh, Joe's right now. He's really. He thinks that this is going to go sideways. He thinks we're going to go sideways for months. Uh, I mean, I have no reason to, to think he's wrong. I don't necessarily really have an idea. I have a wish. My wish is that we go down because I want. I want a reset. I want more reset. I want more band aid rippage. That's just what I want. Um, uh, he thinks that we're just going to go straight sideways. And it, you know, I think he's actually right unless we get some kind of stimulus. Right, like. You know, some something to force the hand, something to, you know, force cards to be revealed. Like, uh, you know, like, and in order for that to happen, the market needs to get into an emotional place, right? And I, that emotional place, it's not like 460. 460 isn't going to really be emotional, right? Uh, it's not here at 445. The emotional place is going to be down here on, you know, because then people are afraid. Oh, no, what if we go lower, right? And that's the emotion. Um and that's, you know, where I want to see in the wake of the emotion, are we going to, are bidders going to step up? That's, you know, that'll really, sh you know, in the face of bad news, if bidders still buy the dip really, you know, kind of reveals the card. So that's what I really want to see. Um, is there anything else here? Uh, I would really like to see a retest of support. Right now, the market doesn't know where to go, right? So people are in limbo land, right? Like, yeah, it, it, everything's pending that. So yeah, um, you know, if we're lucky, we'll get some emotion to kind of show us, show us what's up. Um, as far as small cap market last week, you know, stocks were trying, but failing the market, you know, I felt was in need of a stimulus, something to spark change. You know, if things are going to break from the status quo, the stimulus is likely ne needing to be something enormous, a huge runner, a new sector until that happens, just continue to expect slow action.